Hey guys, welcome to another empowering technology tutorial and welcome to your third tutorial in your quest to learn HTML. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about elements. What are elements? Elements start with an opening tag like body and end with a closing tag and anything in between is the element content. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a few new elements and ways that you can display your content. And as you can see I'm already inside of a notepad plus plus. So go ahead and pull it up and you know do the basic formality of making a web page. Make your title, set it to whatever you want, and also go ahead and after you do that, go to File and Save As. Make sure you're saving it as HTML and name it something different like second. We already have a first, now this is our second. And double check to make sure you're saving it in your HTML folder that you created on your desktop. Okay, we have our title. Our title is How to Make Web Pages. That's what's going to show up in the tab. That is the name of our, basically, our web page. And in some sites, you know, this might be home or about or YouTube videos. The reason why I pointed that out is I don't want you to mistake that for this element, which is header. This is uh, related to like a specific article or topic that you want to convey on your website and you can have more than one header you can actually have multiple headers depending on you know what the layout of your web page is so let's go ahead and put something inside there let's close it off and now this is our header we would use this next element to describe our header and it is the p element which stands for paragraph so now we would you know put our information in there and we'll close that off okay now also aside from having a header element you can have what is known as an h1 and an h2 an h3 an h4 an h5 and an h6 and those would look something like this and you could put like and you would use the p pair the paragraph element again to describe it and let's close that off and let's do an h2 so you can get an idea of how this works and i'm going to put css in there and i know that we haven't talked about css but it stands for cascading style sheets and it is what we will use to style our web page and you will learn about that in very soon to come tutorials. I want to show you, this is a new HTML5 element and it is called a side. And you would put information in here that is important, but let's say maybe not as important as the main information. Think of it as like a side note, okay? So let's just put whatever in there just for the sake of the tutorial, close it out and there's our aside one more is the footer and the footer is what you generally see down at the bottom of a web page you know it has the company information usually some legal like copyright stuff so let's do that and it's also important to know that the footer has to go inside of the body can't go anywhere else you can't put it outside of it or it will not work now let's save this and because you already saved as and you have it saved in your folder you just need to click on save let's minimize out of this let's pull up our web browser go into our file folder go to HTML grab our second one and drop it in you see that we have our title how to make web pages and our heading all about designing a website and we have our h1 and our h2 your h1 is going to be the largest and then the h2 is a little smaller h3 is a little smaller than that this is our paragraphs and this is our aside element and you're probably thinking hey wait whoa whoa like you're probably wanting this expecting to see it over here on the side like i said like a uh, side note well that is where CSS comes in. An HTML element is only used to 
explain your content to a web browser you know, what it is basically and not just plain and boring we have to use CSS so let's minimize out of this let's go back into here you're probably also wondering why our header wasn't very big well again we need to use CSS so guys that's it for this tutorial please feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions put them in the comments subscribe if you already haven't done so thanks for watching guys and have a great day Thank you.